Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to end of the Starfield Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be covering layouts. What are they? How do they work? And what are some of the experiences that I've had whilst I've been toying around with them and doing some testing? And yes, I am very much aware that you can probably tell when these videos are being recorded same day due to the clothes I'm wearing. It's been a week. Let's dive into it. Okay, so before I dive straight into layouts, I do want to mention dark mode or at the time of this video, the lack thereof. Now, if you go to file at the top left and theme, you will see that it says experimental and I'm going to show you why I think it is. You've got Windows default fusion plastic, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and also a dark version, which is going to slightly change how the windows look and dark. If I click on that. It's not very dark and it also doesn't cover the majority of the actual windows in the creation kit, which is a real, real shame because if you've seen the uh, creation kit videos of late that I've done for Skyrim, where the creation kit platform extended covers that, that creation kit, it introduces a really good dark mode. So I'm really hoping that Bethesda are going to update the kit and they are going to change that from experimental and they're going to put a full on dark mode in here because especially if you're working on mods at night, which I know a lot of people like to do, it's going to make a huge difference. However, for the time being, it's a little bit finicky in that you do need to sort of, yeah, keep changing it as, as you can see. It, it's really weird. I can't actually get rid of half the dark mode now. There we go. It's flaky, it's not perfect, it doesn't go for everything, but it is there if you want that to some extent. So the first part of layouts with the creation kit is the window snapping feature, which is, I believe, brand new in the Starfield creation kit. And what that is, is something very similar to Windows 11, where you grab a window, pull it to the top of the screen, and then you can snap it to a certain area and it will remember its position. They have tried to implement something similar into the CK itself, but a little more old school. As you can see, when you highlight over different sections of a window, it will allow you to snap things. And when you hover one window over another one, it will let you snap to specific windows. I would love to say that this has worked really, really well and it's super, super useful. But for me personally, from my experience, your mileage might vary on an ultra wide. It has been horrible trying to snap things together. It just hasn't stayed put for me. It sized things very weirdly. Things have stuck together in weird ways. Columns like the object window have just gone skew if all over the place. And it, it just has not worked for me. But again, experiment with it yourselves. And if it works for you, that's fantastic. It's a nice addition. However, me personally, I have had absolute hell trying to get it to work and I've given up. And I have resorted to the very old fashioned method of just grabbing your windows, resizing them how you want and putting them into place and then closing the creation kit so that it then has windows. Remember the location of all the open windows that you have. So that when you next load it up, it just puts them in place and job is a good one. So something to mention, once you have put all of your windows in place, wherever you want them and you've opened them up, positioned them, resized them, I'm using Windows 11. Windows 11 does a much, much better job with Windows placement. So you should get along pretty well with it. I have not tested with Windows 10. I don't use Windows 10 anymore. I know a lot of people will still be on that version of Windows. So please let me know in the comments section below if you have a different experience, if it's the same experience, better, worse. I'd be really interested to know how this reacts with Windows 10. To dive into the meat of this video, layouts are one of the new things with the Starfield Creation Kit that can be quite useful, but they can also be quite finicky. So layouts allow you to essentially have different windows open for different layouts in different positions at different sizes. And it really helps with if you make different types of mods. So let me show you what I mean. At the top, if you click on Docs, and hover over manage layouts, click that option. You will see that I have two layouts. I have standard, which I'm on at the moment, and I have world editing. And what I've done is I've moved my windows around and had a slightly different look and feel for world editing to when I'm doing standard. So if I was to click on docs, hover over recent layouts and click on world editing, this will then close and reopen windows and position them slightly differently for me. 
In addition to this, you can actually open additional windows. So you could have multiple object windows, multiple render windows, uh, and then you could save that as a layout. So you would essentially go view, object windows, open a new object window, position it into place and resize it. Then you would go to docs, save current layout, or you could save it as a new layout. And then whenever you switch between these two layouts, it will actually open and close the relevant windows, which is super, super useful. So uh, good examples of this. Again, if you're doing a lot of world editing, you might need your layers window to be a lot larger. Uh, you might want less object windows and you might even want a larger render window. However, if you were doing something more along the lines of just doing armor edits and things like that, you might not need such a big render window. You might need multiple object windows. And that's the sort of thing that you can do with layouts, which is super, super useful. So again, you can save a current one. You can save as to create a new one, which will let you just give it a name and then save it. And you can, of course, manage your layouts. You can reorder them. You can delete them. You can rename them. You can do all sorts of, all, all sorts of stuff with it. Now, with all of that said, I will say that my experience has been quite mixed. On one hand, this can be really, really excellent. And on the other, it can suffer a little bit. So what I found is that Windows is sometimes going to do a good job remembering the individual layouts of the creation kit. And other times it's not. So let me explain. If I go to recent layouts and go to world editing, that object window that I had open before doesn't seem to be there. But if I go to view and object windows, it is actually there. And if I click on it, it will appear. So it's supposed to be there for the layout. And what I have found is the best way to work with this seems to be that you put everything in place as you want it. You go to docs, you save the current layout, and then you close the kit on the current layout. Then you reopen the kit, you change your layout, to whatever you want for a secondary layout, you open windows, close windows, re, you know, resize them all, put them where you want, save it as a new layout, and then close the kit. And then in theory, the next time you open the kit and you switch between the layouts, it remembers which windows should have been opened, it remembers where they should have been, and it remembers it per layout. However, again, I found this to be a little bit finicky. Sometimes things are where they're supposed to be, sometimes they're not. And it's just going to be an awful lot of trial and error to get this to work as you want it to. I would be very interested to hear some of your experiences in the comments section once you've had a little toy around with layouts and if there's there's any tricks that you guys figure out that make this work a little bit more reliably. But for me, very useful, very nice. Uh, however, I'm not sure how much I'll use it just because it does at the time of this video at least seem to be a little bit finicky still so i'm really hoping that they do some more work on this and they get these working a little bit more reliably so let's say that you are getting a new computer or you're reinstalling windows or you've had some sort of issue and you've had to reinstall the creation kit from scratch and pull everything back in you don't want to lose the layouts that you've created and all of your creation kit settings so what you can do is open up your file explorer navigate to the star field main directory and what you will see in here is obviously the creation kit executable but there are also a few other things that you can keep an eye on you've got your creation kit inny and your creation kit prefs inny for the majority of your settings however the other interesting one that you will find in here is something called qt creation kit saved settings and if we were to open this up with notepad plus plus and scroll some of the way down you will see that this actually contains some of my custom layouts i've got a wtf one which is quite funny um, that should have been deleted since but in theory this file will hold all of the information on your layouts so if you were planning on having a reinstallation or buying a new computer whatever the situation and you needed to keep this stuff in theory haven't entirely tested it you could just back that file up and potentially the creation kit any files as well and then just drag them back in. Something to note about the creation kit any files and potentially the other file as well, however, is if there have been updates to the creation kit since, 
I, I don't know how that's going to react with creation kit updates because if they make changes to the innies, they add new options or they change them, then you, you could upset those if you pulled in a backup from many, many versions prior. So that's something to be aware of. However, in theory, that might be an option there just to back that sort of stuff up. Uh, I don't believe there is anything in the kit for actually exporting these layouts. That would be super awesome if it could give you a proper file that could then be imported so it could avert any version control stuff. But uh, for the time being, as far as I'm aware, that might be the only way that you can really back that up. And that is just about it for another Starfield Creation Kit tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below, along with your own experiences of this. And if there's anything that I may have missed or glazed over that you found that might be helpful, I can pin some more comments to the top. Otherwise, hit that like and subscribe button along with the bell notification if you want to see more Creation Kit videos like this one for Starfield going forward. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the Starfield.